Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Rome 2 Total War. I believe this is part 5, but we have made great progress. Yep, we, I think yeah, our last the turn we were on we took out Orgilla and I think we effectively defeated Cyrene and the Nasamones, which is a good day's work. Right guys, really excited to get back into it. We're not really at, currently at war with anyone yet. Um yeah, we're not at war with anyone, and we're uh, la, 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 la. our relations with Numidia are not too bad, providing we can get some trade. Come, and it looks like we'll be going to war with Libya soon. Um, yeah, it looks like we're going to war with Libya with Ptolemy, and on the other hand, we've also got an army building up here. Which will fight the Seleucids, which we need to actually finish off. We've almost finished them off, but we've got a few more turns. So let's get that underway by them. Okay, so let's go and build. Go and build a few more Galatian swordsmen and the rest of them Galatian swordsmen. Well, we, we are making a lot of money. We are. Controlled two whole provinces and a little bit of Nabatea, which we will now upgrade Nabatea to more. If it suits us. This Nate, yeah, it's just completely um, it's completely this province completely ruled by the Seleucids, which is going to be tough kicking them out. But that's what we're here for. I'm just hoping they don't, yeah, they don't have. Oh, they do have a fleet. They do have a port here, which means they could get access to our lands, and which are really undefended in the middle. Kind of like Rome's weakness: strong on the borders, weak in the inside. Which is going to be. And, yeah, it's not going to be good. <laughs> I'm trying to think of another word, but not really, just to put it blankly. It's not going to be good. If they do attack, it could be game over. So, I do, I am going to build a fleet. I will build a fleet soon. I will build a fleet. I'm going to finish this fleet, uh, this, um, Iasin's army off here. Sons of Zeus, oh, man. Now, we're not at war with Libya, but it looks like they will commit war on us. As we are... Yeah, 34... We're friends of the Romans, we're friends with Syracuse, they hate them both. And they're good friends of Carthage, so it's really a matter of time. So I may just declare war on them. We might be able to, yeah. And the, I think the new media will like us more for it. Right, so let's start to march this army up this way. The army of Ptolemy. And let's see if we can get anything else building. Always want to keep building, getting the money rolling, guys. Alexandria has level, can level that up, so we'll level that up. Beautiful city, beautiful. And so here we're going to build the Great Library. And we want to build the Wonders here. So, and then we're going to also build here the Shrine of Amun Zeus, which does give us order, cultural influence, wealth. Really. The, we don't really need anything there apart from the wealth and the um, tax harvesting, which is good. Which is what we're using right now. Right, so let's go ahead and build that. Get money from these as well. In the uh, later tiers. It's going good. I hope you're enjoying these parts, guys. Um, I really do hope you're enjoying it. I've been really excited making it. Um, yeah, been really. Um, been every Tuesday, Friday that rolls by. I'm just really looking forward to getting these um, total wars out. And also, guys, I am so excited. It's pre-ordered. It, there will be a part out on the day it comes out. Thursday, the release of Thrones of Britannia. I'm not sure what time it releases. I'm hoping it's 12 because I'll be on it. So, yeah, I'm really excited about that. I'm trying to think of what faction I'll be. I'll, it'll, it'll either be a Viking faction or a English faction. Maybe an Irish faction because you... When, I know we got to play as the, I forgot what they were called now, but in Attila we got to play a bit as an Irish faction, if you wanted. But um, they've never been flushed out, but now they have been flushed out and there's a lot more to Ireland rather than your two settlements. So let's go ahead and build a muster field here in Jerusalem. And is there anyone else we can get any trade with? Galici, I don't think he's still going to trade with us. That's what the big is. And let your work. Anyone else? Louis Satani. 
Non aggression. Trade agreement. Non aggression. Saba, no, and you're going to bother asking. New media, no, as well. Okay. So we'll end the turn then. And... God, there, there's such a big difference in contrast for the load times of Rome 2 and Warhammer. It's actually crazy. Fleet of Libya. Yeah, it looks like we're going to need to build two fleets. One down here. To stop any invasion in the um, Sinus Arabicus. Arabicus. And also, yeah, in the big high seas up here, we're going to need another fleet. So, um, if the Seleucids attack from there, or Libya, or Carthage. So, faction joins war, secure in the Etruscan League. Faction destroyed, boy. Another army been done up there. Yep. And Ugila. Let's go and sort out this little problem we got. Aegis. Word has reached us of a Gaelic slave whose skills as a goldsmith have fast become a legend. Well, if we free him, I don't think we'll get any benefit, I think. So I'm going to go ahead and take a slave. I imagine being a slave in Egypt for the glory would have been pretty nice to be a one in gold. Um... Let's go and sabotage this. Let's start getting our spies leveled enough. That's really good. Yeah, he's, he's doing really well. And I think also he's not too thingy. Um, I think he's quite young. Yeah, 35. That's a good age so far. I want trade with Numidia because then it gives us more of a reason to go and attack Libya. <laughs> I, 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 I would be willing to offer him money as well. Because I really do want trade. How much would, the, would they actually be willing to maybe do? 4,200. Seeing as we're getting free, almost 4,000 a turn, I'll offer them this. No, they won't accept it. Come on, Numidia. I'm trying to, like... I want a war. I'm trying to not get one of you. We fight for you, my lord. Fight for you, my lord. Right. Okie dokie. Let's go and build that up. Get more food, more commerce. Navatea, that's building there. That's a full army up there. I've got two full armies. Let's go and build... Let's I like building grain pits because you get army replenishment too. So if we ever needed to retreat back, they'll upgrade faster. Plus you get food and wealth. And we're not in dire need of food. So let's go ahead and get that one. And we'll end the turn there. Da, da, da. If you guys ever want to put in the comments what um, Total War game you're playing or games you'd like to see me play in the future, I'll definitely take it into consideration and will obviously play the games you want me to play because that's how um, I want to appeal to you guys. Uh, yeah, would you want any trade? No, I don't, can't trade. I don't know why we can't trade. Unless we already are. Don't know. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna have three Let's Plays as of Thursday going on Warhammer as the Tomb Kings, obviously, Rome 2 is Egypt, and Bush, Irish and English. But I, it's just those three are really appealing to me. Well, I, I, mean, I, will, I will do them all at some stage. Slave skill was without equal. He's forged through bias from all over the world, and the income gained from his work swelled our coppers. 5,000. 9,000. Almost 4,000. We're going really good here. We will have enough money to fund wars, which is important right now, because it looks like we may be having a few. Construction. Jeweler and Cyrene. Can't build any more yet. Let's go to. Um. And go and build a shrine of Amun Zeus, which gives us those benefits I was talking about. Shrine of Amun Zeus. Let's go ahead and build that. 
and let's go to Libya and we will uh, we've got a lot of food there we're gonna go and build the trading port to bring even more money in ships from faraway lands bring necessities and luxuries to trade love that I, I will upgrade this to a farm because that's what it is farm and settlement anymore let's keep going on this then tribal vassalage some people are worthy even if they're not Egyptian so we get 4% wealth from all commerce and 4% income from trade agreements don't mind if I diddly do um, and we're gonna build a peri camp here so we'll have like 14 soldiers here just guarding the province which is gonna be really effective to stop them getting through plus army here that'll be like 20 That'll be like 34 soldiers in Jerusalem, which is going to be really important. Just even holding back the tide of the Seleucids. Ideally, I always want one war at a time, but I know that the Libyans are going to attack me, as well as will the um, as well as the Carthaginians and Nova Carthage. So I may as well attack. Get on even better terms with. Um, get on even better terms with Rome and because I know they're going to attack anyway so I'm not just willy nearly start on a war I don't really do that but I just have a feeling they will attack soon especially with my treaties with Libya um, I think they're going to want oh, especially if I do get my agreements I want with Numidia then they should probably they're going to I want them to accept first. Okay, this last phase, and let me put it towards a non aggression. Then you accept it. Okay. Where are we right now? Petrorus up here. How's this all looking? Let's go around this way. Another army of the Seleucids. Another army. Nah, they just look like they're pushing down. And let's see the terms we are on. Yeah, we're really not on good terms. Minus 53. <laughs> Jesus. But then also the Seleucids, they're kind of in the same position, but they're not as liked. Whereas we are really liked by the Greek states and by Rome. They are not so much. They're not really friendly with Rome at all. Yeah, they're minus 7. But they're not too bad with the Greek states. But if the Greek states were to pick a side, they would choose me. I don't know why... Rhodos isn't happy. Probably a trade with these guys. So let's see if we can get an aggression. Did they break it? Did they get taken over and then... I don't know. Right. So let's end the turn there. And it looks like next turn we will be... Attacking the Libyans. And next turn I'll probably start building a fleet up this way. Guys, I'll just scroll down so you can pause it at whatever moment you want. Right. Okay. Libya has been declared war by Numidia. That's great. Trouble in Libya. I think, yeah, we're just getting better. I think, yeah. Right. Numidia. I will come and back you in this war if you I be really trade agreement. Sure that you come to deliver yeah. a profitable message. war. Yes. Trade. Not even a trade. An aggression? Well, I'm going to join the war anyway, just so they like me. And then hopefully we can um, go from there. So now I'm at war with Libya. And I think I kind of... I don't know if it's a way around or if it's just the game don't realise. But what you might as well do is declare war for another faction. Because if you do it that way and you declare war on Libya, then... As you see here, they're a client state of Libya, and either Carthage needs to join the war, or their client state treaty will be mulled, void, there will be no, it will be broken.
But if you just, if you go to Namibia and then say I'll declare war on Libya for you, then Carthage don't come into the mix. Nor do they um, stop being a client state. So I don't know, that's what I do. And it's pretty beneficial if you don't fancy a war with two people at once. Or whoever they are factual. Cyrene, that's pretty safe from attack right now. Especially from just javelins. But I do want to build a... I do want to build a... Holosideros barrack here. And now I want to start building a fleet. And let's see who maybe... Let's do the Greek families. For after all they did have great victories at Salamis. Who is the leader? Because that's who I'll put it as. Um, Clytius. Let's give you another promotion. Of you. Hey, do, 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 yeah, Clytius. Right, so let's go and build a fleet here. Clytius, raise a fleet. I get those big towers, they're pretty cool. Figs is the biggest ships in the game. Yeah. And what we're gonna want. I thought we had Peritonium or that. Oh. I'm not sure why we're on the same seafront. Maybe I'm gonna have to quickly go across. This is what I'm gonna have to actually do. We'll have to go in next turn, then recruit from there. Um and this turn I will move into Libya. I will raid. And I always want money, but then I always do like to build just might as well build because it gives you money. So we're gonna build a polis there. Could anything else be built in Egypt actually? I like building Egypt, just like to role play a bit. Uh no, nothing can be built there. So let's go ahead and build that, sorry, and then the turn. See if we can get some tribe of those Britain, British factions, the English factions, in the south, which I think will be approaching Devon first. Faction encountered Namnet, population surplus Egyptus, and construction reports grain and the like. Yeah. So the library has been built in, not the great library yet, but we're getting there. Where is this great library? It's ah, over this way. That and that will really help with research rates, build things quicker. Right. Where else are we at? Construction. There was things were built in yet. Ogilla. Let's go ahead and build another storage room. Move him into here. The reason I put him here, guys, is so we can actually start building some of these ships. And first, I do want is just some, um, just some low group ones, just as a front screen. So I like building um, artillery ships. So I'm gonna build about one, two, three. I'm gonna build about four of those when I can. Let me go and. I think we'll just go in and attack, guys. Hopefully, the Numidians like us a bit more, which they really do like us a bit more. Non aggression. Yep. Trade agreement. I, I think a trade agreement will be coming soon because now they are friendly with us. Yeah, 32. I just don't like the cultural version, must be in Greek and then being desert nomad. So let's go in and attack. Yeah, this would just be a thing, you guys, a quick sim. Not really much point in getting that. Probably would actually lose more if I went into the battle because of the javelin. Man. But let's uh, go ahead and do that. We'll raise it. And we shall build. 
think uh, as a for a military victory, taking Africa is one of the provinces we need. Oh no, it's not. Is it for any of them? No, it's not. Italia, Macedonia, Bactria, Persis, and Syria. So we actually don't even need to be expand this way, but we do in a sense because Libya would declare war on us. Right, so war has officially been declared. We're at war with Libya. They've got a few more provinces, Lepsis and Thapsus. Which hopefully the Numidians help me take out quicker. How do uh, Carthage feel about me? Not good, but it wasn't. The war with Libya didn't actually put too much on it, only a minus 12. But I'm not too bad. How's Cyprus getting on? Got a good army there. Are they at war with anyone? They're not at war with anyone, so that's good. So I've still got my clients there up here. Just ready to pounce on Tyra, um, the Seleucids if they do attack me. Yeah, they're really not friendly with the Seleucids. And they're friendly with me. Probably would want a more friendly, but that'll be enough for them to defend me. May Hermes bless us both yeah. with skill. Okay, let's go to Rhodos. See if we can get that non-aggression we wanted. Still can't get the non-aggression we wanted. Building some ships up there. Children of the Nile. And we're going to carry on pushing into Lepsis through Africa. Into, yeah, deeper into Africa. So let's carry on going through the west of Africa. Really enjoying this part, guys. We're, we're, we're getting making a lot of money. We're getting a lot of. Well, it looks like we might take another province. Really, really good. Time. Sad days. Sad days. As I say that, I get crumpled by like 50 armies. <laughs> As you show off, you get ruined. Let's go and build. Do we need any food? Maybe we do need food in Libya, so let's currently just build port. Gives us some more, f no, um, a fishing, but gives us some more food. Politics, character, I mean. Ammo, pay on. The seas have been becalmed for quite some time. If we are to trade and send warships against our enemies, we must regain the favour of Poseidon by making an offering. Sacrifice a bull. A pure white bull will surely see us return to Lord Poseidon's good graces. Only a true sacrifice will convince Lord Poseidon of our devotion. A child must be chosen from your own family. It is the only way. Do nothing. Good winds may come and go. Poseidon may simply be busy elsewhere. There is no need to do anything hasty. So we're going to sacrifice a bull or sacrifice a child from our own family. Uh, let's go with the child. Sacrifice just seems pretty. Sacrifice seems pretty um, kind of typical of an ancient civilization. So sorry, child. If your name's Dave, I'm sorry. We're gonna sacrifice a child. We need Poseidon's good graces. Plus, also we need the warships. <laughs> That's selfish, but you know. Um, let's go here. Maybe we can get a little bit now. Right, let's carry on then. Libya. Looking rich, rich place. Um, let's go and build a farming settlement. Do we need farming settlement? Let's go for civil settlement there. Or a market settlement actually, because I want to um, have I might build a Saint Market either. Markety. And we're going to build one more ship here as a screen and then we'll start building some of the big warships. So we'll end that. Thank you, child Dave. You may have may have just benefited our army or navy 
No. <laughs> a heavy price. Poseidon was unmoved by your sacrifice. The sea remains flat, calm, and our trade suffered as a result. Sorry, Dave. Looks like you died for nothing. Local trade is dwindling. Ships built. So we got that another ship built there. Got Mios Hormos. Scared we got um pull down there. Got a lot of food in that Africa and Egyptus. Let's go and build a temple of our moon Zeus religiously. Zeus our moon is widely revered by Greeks and Egyptians. Let's start getting that built. Cyrene, you just leveled up. Yeah, Hollis there is back as a Machamades has been built there. Let's move our spy, see if we can sabotage, weaken some of the people in there. And this will be the last part of this turn then, guys, after we take this province. So let's go ahead, go in right in and take it. Yeah, we're just going to always in there, no need. Sorry about this part, guys, of no battles, but these are pointless battles to go and attack. It'll just be kind of wasting an episode in the campaign. We'll raise that. And we're making good progress here. Come on, Numidia man. You've just been taking a province that's just been taken off you. What we're going to do here then is send a spy down here. And let's go and quickly rebuild this. Build. Build. And as I said, guys, this will be the end of this episode. Thank you very much for watching. As always, your support is great. The views are great. I really, really appreciate you guys. You really make my day when you watch these videos. I've been Fearless Pharaoh, guys. Oh, no. Once again, I've done it. I've been Fearless Pharaoh, Royal Guard. Your guard is over. Thank you very much. I'll see you next time.